Hi everyone, it's time for the second block, which is a reef, and this is where I am so far. Thank you so much everybody for the lovely comments from last week on my little puffy heart. I'm super happy with how it turned out. And I had so many people say, leave the loops, leave the loops. So I'm leaving the loops. So to finish it off, what I'm going to do is sew, or what do you call it? Couch. <laughs> See, you thought I was going to struggle with my words again, didn't you? I probably would have done. I've got, this, this is just some really thick wool. I found on my searches, I haven't got much, just a bit of it. And I'm just couching this around the edge. Just to finish it off, I didn't know what else to do with this door. So I've come up with a couple of things that will just finish it off. And hopefully we'll be, we'll be off and running and ready, ready for, for the next, for the next um, prompt, I hope. I've been working really hard on this one, but I've also been making um, a new grungy journal, which I shall show you when it's finally finished. It's taking weeks. It's going to be super chunky and it's like a lap book sort of thing. So it's taking quite a while. Oh, I'm getting all tangled up. I don't think I was going this way before. I think that was my issue. So that's what I'm doing all the way around my door. Um, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing on, on last week's, on the first prompt that I still haven't finished. As you can see, really dark, and I know I was going for winter, but I can't do it, it's too dark. So what I'm doing in the evenings while I'm watching TV is loads of bullion knots sort of hanging down off my tree. I still haven't found a deer. Oh, I found a cat though. <laughs> There's a surprise. Honestly, she was in the garden a minute ago. I thought I was safe. Well, I'm going to carry on and hopefully she will not be too much of a nuisance. Can you go and sit down? I made her a little bed and everything. I've made her a little area where she can go and sit down, but it doesn't seem to be working very well. Um, thank you. Can't see. <laughs> oh... This is real life, guys, real life. Completely tangled myself up now on this one. She's put me right off, right off. What have I done? Have I totally missed it? No. No, 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 she's coming back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> really, Snowbell? Really? Get off them. You've got fluff everywhere. I would like to say thank you to Sarah and Rachel who have this amazing challenge going because without them and Susan Taylor Brown, who is also one of my favourite um, textile artists to watch. Uh, no, come on. It's a good job these are mine and not like for a customer, isn't it? Because they'd be covered in fluff. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it's um, it's an amazing challenge. Absolutely loving doing all of this. And look at this. I am going to run out of cotton right at the end. How annoying is that? I've got to get a whole new piece of cotton. All right, I'm going to tie this off and then we're going to carry on. I'm, I'll finish this off and then I'll be back. Okay, so my other ideas, just for a couple of more embellishments on this door, is to pop this on. Now, this is a printable from G. Kerr, and I've printed it out onto some fabric. So I'm just going to pop it on here, like that. And then I've got an, one of these, it's, just, it's like... um paper with a what do you call it you know metal surround and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get it on there but somehow I'm going to have to sew through that so we're going to leave that for a minute and I'm going to do this one <laughs> so I'm 
So I think what do they call what I think Sarah calls this the an over stitch or something where you just you just sort of catch and go over like this. Hopefully this will look okay. It's already cooked. <laughs> Should put a little pin in it or something maybe. So now I've finished my custom journal. I'm sort of quite caught up, which I'm very happy about. I don't mind so much being behind. I did. I did fall way behind on the junk journal July. I think July was just way too busy. Way too busy for me to try and fit that in as well. I'm still sort of doing the prompts and I've put a few up on Instagram, but just not... Um, just, just haven't had time to video them all. Sometimes you really want to do something and you just, just physically do not have the time. And orders come first. <laughs> so, what I think I'll do is finish sewing that on and then pop back. Otherwise I'm going to be prattling on. Okay. Okay, I'm nearly all the way round, so I thought I'll come back because <laughs> we're gonna, I'm going to try and stick my homemade number on the top. I spent ages looking for some sort of fabric number that I could um, sew onto here. And I must have spent a quarter of an hour looking around my craft room thinking I must have a number somewhere. No, I didn't. So I've had to make my own because, you know, that's what I do a lot of, making my own. It's like when I search for words for prompts. It's much quicker usually just to write your own than to go searching for all the magazines trying to find the right words. So I'm going to just tie this knot back in the box. Oops. <laughs> she says. Okay, so we're nearly there. So all I've got is this embellishment and I've actually drawn number six on there. And what I think I'll also do, once I've got it on, okay, I'm sorted. <laughs> right, so I've got a little bit of foam and all I want to do is stitch this down onto my book with the minimum of effort. So I'm thinking if I poke a couple of holes that might look like um, like holders and I'm, oh, do you know what? I could do them in like another colour, like maybe this blue here. And do a knot instead of just tying it down. Let me get a good length of that. I can always use the. I'm going to put him on there like that. Let's shove that out of the way. So I'll come up. Hopefully somewhere here. And I just drew that on with um, a paint pen. Of course, I'm never going to find the hole. There we go. I'll have to do that. <laughs> there we go. Found it. <laughs> Got there eventually. So I'm going to come up. I'm going to do a French knot. Oh, I can't really go back down, can I? What happens if I go back down it? Hopefully in a slightly different place. Oh, it might work. It might work. I'm going to tie it off a little bit. Just because I don't want the knot coming undone. Now this may or may not work. Because 
that's sort of gone up and down almost the same hole hopefully some a little bit different so i've got to come up again somehow and get this straight <laughs> right this may be the longest bit of the video is that anywhere near no <laughs> i'm gonna go over if i do it level there and then hopefully just poke the pin needle through that's better okay well this is working i'm quite impressed did i do three i think i did three and i'll go back down at a sort of different angle there we go that worked and i know it looks like i've just stretched it across but obviously i did sort of you know do a do a couple of knots to hold it so i could probably i could cut that and it still wouldn't come apart but i will just leave it it's fine this is going to be stitched down onto my page to go into my book so i've now completed the second one because i'm not doing any more to that so I've completed the second one and I still haven't finished the first one. I'm going to have to make some sort of deer out of something. So I'm going to put this one in the book, which is somewhere around here. Okay, where are you? There you are. So you might remember this is my book, which is why I'm going for all these dark colours. Oh, I found some more because obviously six was not going to be enough. So that will be sewn onto there, my page, I think. I'll see. I, I don't remember how I did it last time now. But that's in my book. Well, I might need to expand the spine. <laughs> it's already that big. Oops. Oops. That's why I don't do my book just yet. Look what I found, guys. <laughs> it's the only thing I've got with a deer. And it's Bambi. So, I'm pretty sure that I can use this somehow. Um, I have used a page in this already. So, we just need a nice picture that isn't going to be too big. Yeah, that's the problem when you have these big books. It's just going to cover the whole page. Is there a small one? Just have to make it smaller somehow maybe oh it's gonna be way too oh hang on there's a little one <gasps> yes right i'm really sorry to do this but i'm gonna have to cut you out that was a stroke of luck i don't know how long i've had that so i'm gonna cut him out And it can be on here like this. That's the only place he's going to go. Okay, right. So, um, we have to swap to my these little scissors. And I'm going to cut a square. I'm going to hold it and just cut around again. Now, maybe I should have glued it not sure but i thought what my plan is to cut all the way sort of around the main bits that i can reach at the moment without moving anything i bet i don't make his face quite as cute as this and then come back afterwards and cut like all the extra little bits oh it's moving i think i think it's moving I'm 
just going to hold his head. Part. I'm sorry if you can hear the dog barking. Um, the children are back. My neighbours from hell. <laughs> and they just they just set the dog off. The kids the kids scream. The dog barks. So then the kids scream and the dog barks. Right, I'm going to cut that in a minute and it's going to be What do you think? It's sort of it's sort of like that. Let's get rid of all the the bits out of the way. So what I need now is these little highlight bits. So I've got this other piece. Let me just move these out of the way again. And if I just cut a little bit of this off and it's got some little squares. Probably a bit big. I'll try and I'll try and do them smaller. And I can just oh there then now the circles. <laughs> now stick to the squares, it's easier. Okay, so I may come back when I've cut out all these little bits, but this is basically what I'm gonna do. And I know it's not quite the right colour. In fact, I might go and have a look and see if I've got... Oh, I don't know. Do you know what? It's fine. It's not going to be exactly the same. And I'm going to put them on there like that. And I'll pop back when I've finished cutting them out. Right, I've done all the really, really fiddly bits. That's took a while. So I thought I'd just pop back and finish off... Um, this is him so far, and all I've done is put tiny, tiny stitches in, and I'm going to show you how I did it. <laughs> I'm just using one strand of embroidery thread. Oops! Well, that worked. I, I did that before. just poked it. It's <laughs> very, very tricky. Honestly, it's took me, it must have took me about half an hour. And I'm just stitching each of these little tiny bits down. Oops, come here. And I've decided that when I do his mouth, although I've done the others in um, quite a matching colour, I'm not going to do his mouth in a matching colour. I'm going to do it in black so that I can make the, the little smile. We're going to have a go what it's all about okay i think it's looking really cute the mouth i think will be the sort of the finishing touch although i am contemplating doing that darker brown across the top of him in i mean i've got brown here this was the colour I used. Isn't it amazing? I love embroidery thread. You can usually find just the right colour you want. Which is amazing, really. Out of all the colours. Right, so his little mouth is going on like that. Oh, I didn't do that little bit. Oh, well. Do you know what? I might, fin I might add that in a moment. And what we want is a little line of stitches going that way. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so tricky. Can do just one stitch? No, because I want to smile. So I'm going to have to go sort of halfway. I didn't know if anybody wanted to see me do this. That's why I'm sort of doing it anyway. 
if if this is too much like fiddly for you guys then you know do fast forward i shan't be offended and i'm going to do a, like a little back stitch or something here and I might just loop it round because that that will then go off the edge like that. And I wanna I it's gonna look like he's got a muzzle on, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness me, what does that look like? <laughs> that doesn't look like a like a smile. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back down. <laughs> and I'm going to do his nose and hope that makes it all better. And of course, my nose is just going to be a couple of over stitches just here. It can't be a knot because it has to be on the edge. So just a couple of little stitches. Huh? I'll be amazed if this turns out. I've never done anything like this before. I think it's looking not too not too bad to be honest. I'm gonna I'm gonna call that a day and tie this off at the back. <laughs> and we'll have a look and see whether it looks anything like a deer. Or oh, it may look like a deer, whether it looks like Bambi or not, I'm not quite sure. But I do love Bambi. So cute. What do you think? <laughs> Let's sort of get in there. I need to do an eye. I need to do an eye and I need to do some brown around here. So, if you want to watch, I'll be doing that. I might just take all this off and then just oh I think it's it's already split do I want to use all of it yeah because then I can just do one one whole thing where's my thread oh I found this that I might use as my tag yeah this journal is going to be so chunky I'm going mad at the moment I haven't done a a, a thin page, the first two pages. Right, I might just start this off and do and do come, you know, and come back when I'm almost finished because I don't know quite how long it's going to take. Um, do tell me in the comments, do you prefer seeing how it's going? And then sort of cut into the end, or would you prefer oh I can't leave that big knot there. Would you prefer that I sort of fast forwarded through the sewing? Let me know what look, what you think because I'm never sure which way to do it. Right, I'm going to start at the front here and and what sort of stitch am I going to do? I need to do some sort of like satin stitch. Um, I'm thinking for this little bit, some more over stitching like I did with the... I... You <laughs> see how time can it is really time consuming, isn't it? So while I'm doing it then we'll just have a little bit of a Oh we'll have a little bit of a visit from Snowbell, shall we? Um people are trying to watch the sewing, madam. Would you like to move? Obviously not. Um can you go and sit on your little bed I made you? Come on. Come on. Are oh, you hungry? Do you want your dinner? Is that what it is? Right, okay, I think on that note, guys, I think I'm going to leave that for now while she's about. I'm going to finish it off and then I'll come back when he's ready to be put on my tag. I've finished it. I kid you not, guys. 
this is the little space I've been working in about here. It's not even as big as my hand because, you know. Um, right, she's lying on the tag. This is this is my little Bambi and I think it's turned out pretty cute. I can't actually do any more crafting at the moment. So what I'm going to do is leave these until she's gone. I'll pop him on my tag and I'll show you in my next video how it's turned out. Okay, thank you so much for watching me, guys. I'm so glad I've finally done my dear. <laughs> and you, you, yes, can stop this. You've got a bed. Say bye-bye to everybody. Bye.